Hi friends, I am Dr. B. V. Rao of Usha Clinic and founder of the website skewmedicaldoubts.blogspot.com and uh, raghavamedicaldoubts.com. Through these videos, I am providing the basic knowledge about the commonly occurring diseases, treatment and surgery details when necessary for the medical knowledge to general people and for reference to medicals. Today I am going to discuss about the placental insufficiency. Placenta is the vital organ in uh, development of the fetus. There are many conditions in the mother in which fatal death or retardation of its uh, growth may occur in utero. These may occur from uh, no obvious cause. Failure of placental function is a concept which has been involved by the obstetrician to explain such hazards. The hazards in uh, placental insufficiency is produced by interference with the nutrition and oxygenation of fetus. The condition in the mother which give rise to failure of placental function as uh, preeclamptic pre toxemia, hypertension, chronic uh, renal disease, post-maturity, diabetes, antipartum hemorrhage, multiple pregnancy or H incompatibility, Lastly, idiopathic. The placenta after uh, delivery shows uh, characteristic changes depending on the cause. Usually the placenta is uh, small in size, maternal surface is full of inf infarcts, microscopically shows uh, characteristic changes of uh, premature aging. Medical thickening, medial thickening of uh, blood vessels in villous stalks and uh, deposition of collagen in villous stroma is obvious. In essential hypertension, medial thickening and uh, endarterial proliferation with obliteration, lumen of blood vessels is seen. The decidua also may show changes, decidual hemorrhages, intervillous uh, blood clots and thrombosis in uh, decidual vessels in case of accidental hemorrhage. Clinical features. Failure of uh, fetus to grow as the pregnancy advances. The uterus is smaller than the corresponding period of amenorrhea due to small size of the fetus. Scanty liquor amnia. The fetus is underweight due to the pure nutrition. At birth it is often small with a wrinkled dry meconium stained skin and if alive, it may die due to respiratory distress. Some babies may be large in spite of uh, placental insufficiency, probably due to diabetes or uh, post-maturity. Sometimes placenta is large due to fault functionally. Clinical signs are the decreasing maternal weight or abdominal get in late pregnancy which are due to placental insufficiency. It is uh, due to relatively acute tie of the placental insufficiency which leads to intrapartum asphyxia in post maturity. Maybe to chronic placental insufficiency during third trimester characterized by related intrauterine growth and uh, leading to the birth of uh, immature baby with the mortality. The problem facing the obstetrician is to assess the state of the fetus and uh, induce labor in time to save the baby. To assess the condition of fetus, the following tests are to be done. <coughs> Residual cytology. This investigation is a diagnostic and a prognostic technique to evaluate the status of the pregnancy. After conception, the level of a cytological picture persists for two or three weeks. The eosinophilic index obtained by determining the percentage of eosinophilic cells in a vaginal smear usually remains under, under 10 in normal pregnancy. A tendency for increase in the eosinophilic uh, index is first trimester may indicate a failure of corpus uh, UTM before adequate placental uh, production of uh, progesterone. Increase in eosinophilic index along 
with uh, certain other changes in the vaginal cytogram is uh, said to be of a placental inception. Of the conception, the luteal cytological picture persists for uh, two or three weeks. The eosinophilic index obtained by determining the percentage of uh, eosinophilic cells in a vaginal smear usually remains under 10 in normal pregnancy. A tendency for increase in eosinophilic index in first trimester especially may indicate a failure of uh, corpus luteum before adequate placental production of uh, progesterone. Increasing eosinophilic index along with uh, certain other changes in the vaginal cytogram is said to be an indication of placental insufficiency. Three types of smears are uh, present normal pregnancy or uh, preterm smear and where seen uh, some weeks before term may indicate uh, onset of uh, premature labor. Down smear indicate labor is imminent if the vaginal smear is normal and the fetus is said to be in uh, no danger. The post mature smear denotes uh, failing placental function and uh, impending uh, death of the fetus. Histial estimation of urine measurement of the rate of uh, maternal urinary estradiol excretion is uh, a reliable index for the assessment of placental function and the state of fetus. The estrogenic activity of uh, blood and urine during the course of uh, pregnancy after 24th week of pregnancy rises rapidly. Of the three estrogens, estradiol, estron and uh, estriol, estriol is found in uh, late, uh, large amounts in urine. The fatal adrenals uh, supply the precursor dehydro AP androsterone for the placental elaboration of estrogen, more particularly estriol, and hence the amount of estriol in the urine serves as an index of the metabolic activity of fetus. If the fetus is in uh, distress, all the three estrogens in uh, maternal urine fall and the progressive decline indicates serious uh, degree of placental insufficiency and uh, fetus is in danger if not attended. In high density form mold, no estriol is found in urine. Neonatal mortality may occur when the maternal urine estriol excretion is uh, between 4 and 9. Intrapartum death may occur when the levels are between 4 and 7 in 24 hours. Delivery of some infants could be postponed to achieve the greater maturity in a complicated progress pregnancies when frequent estriol values indicate intrauterine death would not occur. New methods of uh, estimating estradiol in the blood by protein binding and radioimmune assay have given a fresh uh, stimulus to use of uh, estrogens as an uh, prognostic index in the pregnancy. Pregnenediol excretion, progesterone uh, production as measured by urinary pro pregnenediol excretion rises uh, throughout pregnancy reaching a maximum in the third trimester for, from 10 daily at uh, 10th week to a peak of 50 milligrams at 37th week. During early pregnancy, pregnenediol excretion has been uh, utilized for uh, prognosis of outcome of threatened abortion. In uh, patient with uh, preeclampsia, diabetes and uh, accidental hemorrhage levels well, well below the normal range is observed if the fetus were <coughs> very small or uh, stillborn. So very low values may indicate uh, impending fatal death. <coughs> A series of daily successive observations have to be made. Chorionic gonadotropin. For uh, testing pregnancy and uh, placental function, it has been used. It is uh, produced soon after implantation and uh, reaches peak levels at 60th or 70th day of gestation. 
the titan then falls rapidly reaching a low level by the 90th day to 130th day of uh, pregnancy in the urine 40000 to 1 lakh international units per 24 hours are uh, excreted by 50th to 70th day values outside the range have been shown to indicate abnormal pregnancy a low titer of a chorionic gonadotropin in the urine or blood in early pregnancy or its absence indicate inadequate placental function or fetal death increased levels are found in patients with diabetes or h isoimmunization toxemia of pregnancy etc in vascular mole its estimation is useful for diagnosis and uh, follow up <coughs> in the first half of pregnancy gonadotropin estimation and uh, in second half the estimation of uh, estradiol and uh, pregnenolidol is uh, reliable for uh, placental function diamine oxidase or histaminase the estimation of diamine oxidase in pl- plasma by using a modern sensitive technique show promise as an index of placental function a sharp rise of this enzyme occurs in uh, pregnancy from 5 to 6 weeks following the last menstrual period and rapidly reaches a plateau which remains uh, throughout gestation in case of spontaneous abortion and uh, stillbirth a progressive decrease in enzyme activity is said to occur favorable uh, reports on its uh, prognostic value in uh, threatened abortion have been confirmed in case of uh, idiopathic form mole and uh, corio carcinoma plasma dom- diamine oxidase values are found to be non pregnant uh, levels so it suggests that the presence of uh, fetus is necessary for increased enzyme activity the advantage of this test is uh, simplicity speed and sensitivity aminoscopy the result of uh, placental insufficiency is intrauterine hypoxia when the fetus is in uh, utero and has been affected by hypoxia it usually passes uh, meconium into the liquor where it may indicate an increased hazard of fetal death <laughs> the four waters can be directly observed by aminoscopy with uh, little risk to mother or baby and the volume and color of the liquor can be assessed if amnioscopy reveals scanty heavily meconium stained liquor fetal hypoxia is diagnosed with uh, accuracy nowadays uh, this method is mostly employed other methods uh, sometimes used are uh, fetal electrocardiography encephalography some ultrasound procedures the soul about the placental insufficiency and in the next video i will discuss about uh, some other disease thank you